In this video, we're talking about a serious question. The most contentious question anyone has ever asked. Should I put water in my whiskey? Now, you hear people debating this all the time. And spoiler alert, when you're talking about not adding water to your whiskey, someone beat you to it because someone already added water to your whiskey. There's a reason that most whiskeys are 40%. The distillery put water in there already. Those bastards. It's called cutting, and all of the distilleries do it. They take the percentage of the alcohol down to a level that is either more palatable for people if you're being polite, but also more profitable for them. Because, you know, the more bottles they make, the more money they make. So by diluting it down, they make more money. Unless you're buying a cask strength whiskey or a single cask whiskey, chances are what you're drinking has already had water added to it. And that's not bad. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, adding water is important and not something to get so hung up about. So let's talk about the three things you can do to add water to your whiskey. Your first option is not to add anything to your whiskey. Take it from the bottle, into the glass, into your mouth, down into your stomach, job's done. It's not that simple. You can do that. And the first time I try a whiskey, that's usually what I do, because I want to know exactly what it tastes like. But to not add water as a point of principle is a bit crazy. Let's use this as an example. This is a Mortlock. It's delicious. It is straight from the barrel. So there hasn't been any water added to this. It is 50% alcohol. Holy hell, that's a lot of alcohol. Now, that smells amazing, but my nostrils are on fire. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. This is so strong. There's a lot of it that I'm not going to be able to appreciate if I don't add a little bit of water to it. I need water. Ugh. I've said it before, and I will say it again. Adding water to whiskey is not a problem. It's not bad. It actually makes it taste a lot better. Now, there are other brands of water that are available, but I'm just gonna open this up, and I'm not taking a lot, so just pouring in, even that seemed like a lot. Let's try that again. Tiny bit. That's all I want. Is that a lot? Just that tiny bit more water? means that I can taste a lot more complex, interesting flavors in this whiskey. It was nice before, but it was overpowering. I needed to add the water or else I wouldn't be picking up the flavors I'm getting now. Imagine having a fruit cordial and not adding water to it. That's exactly what you're doing with your whiskey if you don't unlock the flavor a bit. It will help you appreciate it more. So don't let someone tell you not to add water because it makes it taste better. That tastes awesome! Other option you have is to add ice to your whiskey. Scotch on the rocks. The thing about adding ice to your whiskey is that it doesn't enhance the flavors the way that adding a little bit of room temperature water does. It actually restricts the flavors. So by making it cold, the whiskey becomes more difficult to pick up. The smell is decreased the mouthfeel becomes a lot less substantial. And that's not a bad thing if that's what you want to do. If you want to make your whiskey easier to drink, to tone it down, then adding ice is a good way to do it. It's probably a good thing to do if you're trying to get someone who says, I will absolutely never like whiskey. If you want them to try whiskey, putting it on the rocks, not a bad idea. But if you're really trying to appreciate the subtle nuances of your whiskey, putting it on the rocks isn't a way to do that. Whiskey, straight, no junk in it. You shouldn't listen to people that tell you under no circumstances should you put a mixer with whiskey. Some whiskeys are made for mixers. Jack Daniels, Johnny Walker Black, Dewar's, these are nice whiskeys, but they are also nice whiskeys with coke. And that's not a problem, that's what they're made for. Now, would I add coke to this Mortlock? Probably not, 
Odd fact though, there's actually a lot of Mortlock in Johnny Walker. But that's not the point. If I'm having this as a whiskey that I want to enjoy and pick up the flavors from, if I mix it with Coke, that means I'm going to taste alcoholic Coke instead of the Mortlock, which I don't want. But sometimes I do want alcoholic Coke, and there's nothing wrong with that. So don't feel like you can't take some whiskeys and mix them with other things. Cocktails are great. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You can do whatever you want. At the end of the day, it's your whiskey. Enjoy it how you want to enjoy it. Don't let people tell you what you can and can't do. There are no rules. You paid for it. Enjoy it how you want to enjoy it. For more whiskey reviews, subscribe to Top Whiskeys on YouTube. We post a new video every week. If I want to have alcoholic Coke and I want to have John Daniels, Jack Daniels probably,